Hi, I welcome you to the Data Hall YouTube channel. Our today's video is about loop in Stata. So, what is loop? Before we move forward, we need to understand what loop is. When we need to perform certain tasks that are repetitive in nature, that are going to be repeated, so we perform that task through loops, right? So loop is what it is, some kind of a command, any command it can be, that is going to repeat itself. So for example, if we wanted to run regression, right? This regression, is, reg is the regression command in Stata. If you do not know, you do not need to worry uh, about this for now. You just, we are just going to understand what is the usefulness of, of loop commands? So if you wanted to regress stock returns on index returns for the first stock, if the symbol is for the first company in our data set, and let's just say if we have eight companies and we need to regress a return of each firm on index one by one, then we would have to perform these eight regression analysis we would have to perform these eight commands so if you see at these commands these are repetitive in nature right uh, we just need to change the number in 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 this um, in this command and the rest uh, is the, the command is same right so what we can do is we can use some kind of a loop for in this case we are using for loop and these three lines of code would be sufficient to run all those commands that we saw in previous slide. Now in this, uh, in this case, uh, you wouldn't see much difference because let's just say there were just eight firms, but rather than eight firms, let's just assume that there are 100 firms and you need to perform th those commands for 100 number of firms. Now you would be able to realize how powerful this command is. So let's understand what are different loop commands in Stata. We have three types of loop commands. We have for valley loop, for each loop, and while loop. We normally use for values and for each loop. While is normally not used. This is an introductory lecture for loops in Stata. So we are going to stick with four values and for each. I'm just going to introduce you to these commands. And in our next videos, we are going to explore each of these commands in detail. So what is for value loops? For value loop is used for numerical looping. Like, like in previous example, there if we need to change the numeric number of the firm, numeric value of the firm. So for in that case, we would use for value loop. So it can only be used with numbers, but for each loop can be used in vari for variety of data. It can be used with strings. It can be used uh, for variables. It can it can be used for lists, right? But for value loops, for value loop cannot be used. For variety of data, it can only be used for numerical uh, looping, right? So starting with for value loops, this is the syntax of for value loop. We write the command name, then any variable name, right? This is uh, the not the variable that is stored, the data st that we have in our data set, but rather any name, local name that we are going to assign. Then we would have the range. Then we would input the curly brackets. Then we would use any command that we want to uh, loop for. And then we would end uh, the, uh, the curly bracket. Let's move towards Stata. And uh, we would be better able to understand this loop command. So let's just say we want to, we, let, let's start with this command name for values. Then we write any name or a symbol. It, it is just a local variable name that would store the values that we are going to assign. Is equal to 1 oblique 10. 
then we start with curly brackets so what we want is we want stata to start to assign a value 1 to this i variable then in next instance of this looping we want the second value which is number 2 to be assigned to this uh, variable i and in that we want to start with 1 and we want to move till 10 right so the starting point would be 1 and the end uh, point would be 10 and the interval would be uh, 1 it would increase uh, by 1 for now we would just keep it simple and rather than using regression or any complex command we just want to display the number that is stored in value i so i okay just to clear your confusion this is the uh, uh, this the sign that we have uh, near the escape button on your keyboard so normally it is under the escape button and the the next uh, inverted colon is basically the apostrophe sign that we have in our keyboard okay just to make you understand what these signs are now we would end the command with curly brackets so what it did is it started with one it assigned the value of one to the variable i in next command we said display whatever value is assigned to the variable i uh, so because one was assigned to variable i so we we got this uh, one displayed on the screen then it reran this command it's again assigned a value of two to this variable i because we we we, we asked this command to start with one and uh, iterate till 10 then it will move to this command again and it would display the va value assigned to this variable i which was 2 and so on and so forth so forth till it reaches the uh, the value of 10 which is the the maximum value that it can go okay so so we have understood the basic idea of for value uh, loop uh, in next video we are going to uh, further explore this for value loop it would be specifically for this uh, command okay next is for each loop if we wanted to perform the same task that we just did with for value loop then we would use this specific syntax we would start with the command name for each then again the variable of num and then we would give a num list right uh, we open the curly brackets, write the command name, and end the curly bracket. So let's move to stata and uh, again use this command using for each. Uh, again perform this this loop using for each loop. So we write the command name, then the variable name of num, and then we give the num list. So we would we would want to give the same number list. To make it comparable and we are using again the same command display i remember it is not necessary that you would use i you can use t or a or any uh, or any any name we end the command with curly brackets so it did the same right it uh, it went through each of these numbers and displayed the number over here because we wanted the command to display the number uh, just to give you the idea if we can use any uh, so so let's just say instead of using i let's just use tt uh, is equal to 1-5 right we open the curly brackets display So instead of using i i we would use tt because we have assigned those values to tt uh, variable we end the command so irrespective of what variable you assign you should use that variable in the command as well so that's it for now and in next video we are going to understand the for each uh, for value command in detail uh, one last thing if you haven't sub subscribed to my channel please subscribe so you are updated 
as soon as we upload a video.